All right, it's Steve here again uh, with uh, Steve's Vintage Model Builds, and uh, another trip to the to the bargain bin today. And I picked this up for four ninety nine, the Testers Hawk brand, Douglas SBD Five Dauntless. Uh, I thought it appropriate to follow up with this after I did the uh, Nakajima Kate uh, because it's a they were contemporaries and always try to be fair and balanced so uh, testers was uh, testers still makes paints actually I think they're part of uh, Rustoleum now um, but uh, and they make they make excellent paints especially enamel paints um, and they were a top quality manufacturer back in the day uh, this one Model number 611. English instructions inside. Copyright Hawk 1965. Made and printed in Canada. Tester Corporation of Canada. Da 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 da. Western Ontario, which is a postal zone in Toronto. Okay, so again, this one's sealed in plastic. So uh, let's crack it. On the outside, we see uh, one second of the second scale, 28 plastic parts, contains one hobby kit. Uh, on the side, they show other kits that they make. With the Spirit of St. Louis, T6 Texan, and the French Newport. On the bottom of the box, a very 1960s uh, style uh, photograph of other products that they made at the time. Uh, I used to use Tester cement all the time. Uh, they were one of the first that came out with the uh, with the little brush inside, uh, which was great. Um, so there you go. The box is in pretty good shape. It's squished a little bit. Uh, color's still pretty good. So let's see what we've got inside. Got a little dent here. Uh, but considering 1965, I'm not going to get too uh, too upset about that. Uh, we've got a looks like a flip top box here yes it is I don't see these much anymore nice flip top box so good marks for that there we go what the the decals actually still still look excellent there's not a lot of them but they look excellent uh, they're not mottled or brown or they just they look fine so that's nice didn't say anything on the outside of the box about the aircraft history or anything so let's see if we've got something inside here All right, we've got multilingual instructions here. And looks like no history. All right, so uh, my favorite part, I hope it's got a, one of yours too, uh, is the history. So the Douglas uh, SBD, standing for Scout Bomber Douglas, uh, is World War II American aircraft, mostly used by the Navy, manufactured by Douglas Aircraft from 1940 through 1944. It was also flown by the United States Marine Corps 
from both land bases and aircraft carriers. The SPD is best remembered as the bomb that delivered the fatal blows to the Japanese carriers at the Battle of Midway in June 1942. This type earned its nickname Slow But Deadly from its SPD initials during this period, along with a rarely used accompanying nickname of Furious D. During his combat service, the SPD provided, proved to be an excellent naval scout plane and dive bomber. It possessed long range, good handling characteristics, maneuverability, potent bomb load, great diving characteristics uh, from the perforated dive brakes, good defensive arm armament, and ruggedness. One land-based variant of the SPD, omitting the arrestor hook, was purpose-built for the U.S. Army Air Forces and was de designated the A-24 Banshee. Uh, the aircraft served in the United States Navy and for the United States uh, Marine Corps and the United States Army Air Force. Also served in the Free French Air Force, the Royal New Zealand Air Force. Its uh, first flight was 1st May 1940 and its last flight was in 1959 uh, where it was retired by the Mexican Air Force. Nearly 6,000 were built and again an iconic aircraft from uh, World War II. Uh, the instructions are look very much like blueprint blueprint design. Um, you have to remember, you know, see, they, in the nineteen, you know, in the nineteen sixties and so on and so forth, there were a lot of engineers who actually worked on these original aircraft, uh, who went and and, the, and drew up the plans, draftsmen and so on and so forth. Also, a lot of the plans were taken from the original blueprints, and uh, these ones seem to have been. Uh, as I say, they look uh, they look like original blueprints, maybe, or at least the concept uh, draft prints. Uh, illustrations instructions are entirely verbal. Uh, it doesn't tell you where to glue, what to glue, whatever the case may be uh, on the illustrations, uh, but it does take you through step by step. And again, it's multilingual. So what have we got? We got. English, French, German, and what? Ah, oh, Italian. There we go. Okay, so uh, very simple, very straightforward. Not a lot of pieces. Uh, that you know, this is like a, a bang together kit uh, for for a kid. Probably cost fifteen cents back in the day. Be interesting to know what the actual price was. Uh, it's got a pilot. A lot of kits, uh, the seventy-two kits, don't have pilots. I don't think the Kate had pilots, uh, but I'll have to look into that further. I didn't see anything when I went through the sprue set. So, very basic kit. Uh, this is, you know, the kind of thing a 10 year old or 11, 12 year old, uh, you know, would uh, build over a weekend or a long rainy day or winter day and uh, slap the decals on it and put it on the shelf. So, not an expensive kit, not a fancy kit, but a nice kit. All right, uh, so parts in one bag. Original tape. See, it's all yellowed here. Doesn't even stick anymore. Look at that. <laughs> it's just cellophane now with no glue. Wow. I was four years old when this kit came out. It's aged better than I have. Okay, so we'll get that out of the way.
and we can see not a fancy kit whatsoever as I said this, this would be for a very junior model um, and uh, but I think it'll come out nice if I paint it up and so forth the dive baffles here they're molded in the plastic is quite heavy and there's some good detailing a little damage here you can see it's, it's scuffed and squished in uh, this part of the fuselage is almost broken off and this part has broken off but there's no no damage <laughs> the pilots are very very basic the pilot and gunner very basic there's some seams there that will have to be dealt with um, no separate cowling um, except for the piece here is bent but not I guess that's the area bent but not broken so yeah this is <laughs> uh, uh, this is uh, you know an hour or so to put together and another couple hours to paint um, not a big deal whatsoever so five bucks what the heck <laughs> Matt was laughing at me again today when he, he said you just love those little kits don't you and I, you know, I'm like yeah they're great I mean uh, yes you know you can do really complicated things and uh, that you can really go to town on painting them up and so on and so forth but sometimes it's nice just to just to build something that's simple you know, put it together and uh, a bit of paint and off you go so, a uh, quarter point off for the outer box. Uh, again, no shipping, no shipping uh, uh, material because I got it at the hobby shop. Inside packaging came in a plastic bag. Everything was together, so no complaints about that. Uh, parts themselves, they look good. I'm not seeing any any flash whatsoever. Uh, there is that one damaged piece. And you know these two. This one almost broke off. So yeah. So for the sprues, that's a quarter point off. So that's what two and a half now. Two. Yeah, I'll figure that out after. Uh, very basic stuff. Nothing fancy. So I'm going to give the parts a two. Or sorry, the um, yeah. I'm going to give the parts a two. And nice that there's two pilots. Uh, as I said, a lot of kits now they don't, uh, uh, they don't. E even the modern kits they don't, they don't give you uh, 172 uh, figures. Uh, instructions, pretty basic stuff. Um, I would have liked a little more illustrative detail, but that's how they did it back then. So again, that's a two. All right, so that gives us a total of uh, 7.5. I think that's the lowest rating I've given any kit. Um, but it is. It's just a, a very basic kit, very little detail. Um, the fuselage detailing isn't bad. But, yeah, uh, all in all, uh, I'm not upset. At, you know, I wouldn't want to have paid more than $5 for it, put it that way. But it'll be something I can just... Uh, just put her away at uh, one rainy snowy afternoon and get her done and paint her up so uh, one of the nice things is that you know there's so few parts to have to paint and so I should be able to do a pretty good job on it and the decals still look like they're in excellent condition so actually I'm going to give an extra quarter point for that so that'll make it 7.75 and uh, we've got the canopy here uh, looks like it broke off too uh, but it's not damaged. Uh, Alright, so uh, that's it for that. Uh, 
uh, again, thanks to everyone for uh, taking the time to stop in and visit me. And I hope everyone finds the information I provide interesting. And again, uh, feel free to leave comments. And um, and I'll, I'll follow up with. Uh, I'm, I, I might even do a full build on this uh, in real time, uh, considering how easy it is uh, and how how simple and straightforward it is. So. Uh, yeah, I might do that, maybe even before the tape. We'll see what my mood is. And if I can find that part for the switch bar. I think it might be a vacuum job and then have to go to what's in the vacuum. Uh, I don't understand. I mean, the part is painted black, the carpet is red. Uh, I can't find it, so I don't know where to have to go. In any case, uh, thanks again for joining me. I uh, appreciate all my subscribers. Again, apologize if there's audio problems. If anyone has any ideas about that, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. So thanks again, and everybody have a great day. Stay safe, and be nice to each other. Thanks again.